Business Mathematics Real Life Application Decimals, fractions, and percentages are just different ways of showing the same value. For instance, a pie. A half can be read as one half in fraction, 0.5 in decimal, and 50% in percentage. Fractions are required anytime someone needs to work with parts of something. One best example is a pizza sliced into many pieces. A decimal is simply a representation of fraction and percentage. It's easy to say a bag of chips costs 99 than it is to say cost 99 over 100 or 99%. In base, rate, and percentage, problems concerning commissions and overrides, trades and sale discounts, depreciation using periodic rates, analysis of financial statements, and a lot more business problems are solved with the use of basic formula, showing the relationship between the base, the percentage, and the rate. Assuming a delivery vehicle is depreciated at the rate of 10% annually, and it costs 200,000 pesos, the yearly depreciation of the value will be 200,000 pesos times 10%. It will be equal to 20,000 pesos. In ratio and proportion, ratio is the relationship between the two numbers or two magnitudes of the same kind. The expression 1 is to 2, 1 over 2, 1 divided by 2 indicate ratios. We are actually comparing or showing the relationship between 1 and 2. When we say, for example, that there are twice as many married employees as single employees, we mean that the ratio of married to single employees is 2 is to 1, where 2 represents married employees and 1 represents single employees. In buying and selling, setting prices is another business application of our knowledge on percentage. In trading or merchandising firms, those who do buy and sell, meaning what they buy, they sell, and in manufacturing firms, those who buy raw materials, process them and sell the finished products and makes use of the pricing decisions. And single discount. Computing for discount makes use of our basic percentage formula. Percentage is equal to base times rate, where the base is the list price, the rate is the discount rate, and the percentage is the discount. In series of discounts, in certain instances, a seller grants additional discounts other than the discount ordinarily given by him or her. For instance, aside from the regular 10% discount, a seller may grant a special discount of 5%. The series of discount is therefore 10% and 5%. Simple interest. In business, capital is very important. However, not all business owners always have enough capital to sustain their business. More often than not, they have to borrow money for use in the business. It is in this context that interest plays an important role. Borrowers need to pay interest on the money that they borrow. If you borrow 1,000 pesos at an interest of 1% per month for one month, you will have to pay the amount that is equal to the principal multiplied by the rate multiplied by the term, which is 1,000 times 1% 1 times 1, which is equal to 10 pesos. Commissions and overrides Salesmen, agents, and brokers are generally paid commissions as incentives for increasing a firm sale. If a sale agent earns a basic monthly salary of 10,000 pesos and is paid a 3% commission on all of his sales for the month, he will have a gross earning of basic salary plus commission. If he or she sold 30,000 pesos for the month, his gross earning and commission will be 10,900 pesos. When it comes to salary and wages, many employees are paid on an hourly basis. To compute for the pay, we will simply multiply the number of hours worked by the hourly rate. For example, if an employee works for 40 hours during the week and his or her rate is 10 pesos per hour, his wage is 40 hours times 10 pesos 
divided by r, which is equal to 400 passes. The following were some of the examples where we can apply real-life application in business mathematics. That's all. Thank you for listening.